Where did you even find that? Good morning, Chargers. I'm Trinity Marks. I'm Camille Sennett. I'm Savannah Bell. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm Amelia Matt. I'm Melissa Grazius. I'm Danny Isom. My name is Nick Rossell. Hi, I'm Sierra Johnson. I'm Jordan. Hi, I'm Rena Rock. I'm Trinity Sipple. I'm Taina Black. Hi, I'm Abby Ford. I'm Morgan Bear. I'm John Antonio. I'm Will. I'm Chandler Morrell. And I'm Nick Butler. And this is the morning show on CTN. Good morning, Chargers. I'm Rena Robinson. And this is the morning show on CTN. I'm Jordan Hines. Today is Wednesday, March 9th, 2016. Today is National Panic Day. Panic Day is the day to let her rip and succumb to the terror. Giving free reign to this much suppressed emotion, flap your arms and scream, run around in circles, if it helps, or just stay in bed quivering with your head under the pillow. So that's pretty much like every day for you then, Jordan, right? That is true. I do like to run around screaming and flapping my arms. Well, who does it? Don't let the panic get the best of you during day three of Terra Nova testing, though. It's going to be a beautiful day. So let's go over to Alyssa with some more details on the weather. Hi, Jordan. After the beautiful weather we had yesterday, you might be asking yourself if it could get any better. Well, the answer is it can. Today, the sun will be shining and we are going to reach a high of 76 degrees. For Thursday, we'll see more clouds than sun, but, it's still, but it'll still hit 76 again. I think it is a sure sign that spring is coming. Enjoy the beautiful day, Chargers. Back to you, Jordan and Rena. Thanks, Alyssa. Lunch today is a cheeseburger. Let's find out about the state of the day. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for March 9th. Today we celebrate Saint Francis of Rome. Although Francis's parents forced her to enter into an arranged marriage at age 13, she preferred to become a nun. She and her husband had a good marriage that produced six children. Francis also found happiness in her sister-in-law, a soulmate with whom she shared ideals. The two women spent much time caring for the poor, especially in hospitals. Together, they also followed a life of prayer and penance. As her family grew, Frances devoted more time to the needs of her own household. When Rome was struck by famine and a great plague in 1402, she lost a son. Despite her own grief, she reached out to help the sick using all her money and selling her possessions. When funds ran out, she and her sister-in-law went begging door to door. Francis was ultimately given permission to found a society of women, the Oblates of Mary, who would take no vows, but would offer themselves to God in the service of the poor. At the start, Francis continued to live at home, caring for her family. Following her husband's death, she entered the community. Francis of Rome died in 1440. There's more about the saints along with inspiration and Catholic resources at our website, saintoftheday.org. There are no local celebrity birthdays today. Actri actress Brittany Snow from Tr Pitch Perfect turns 29, and soccer players Clint Dempsey turns 32. We would like to congratulate our JV boys basketball team who won the consolation round game last night. The JV boys finished their season in third place. Here's the trophy they won last night. Congratulations on a great season, guys. Don't forget that our boys varsity team is in the championship of St. Peter's postseason tournament on Thursday, March 10th at 7.15 p.m. All St. Peter's fans get in free if you wear St. Peter's colors. Come out and support our, the team. In sports news, the Baltimore Ravens have signed tight with tight end Benjamin Watson. Watson revived his career last season in New Orleans. The 35-year-old veteran caught 74 passes for 20, 825 yards and six touchdowns. It was the eighth most receiving yards among NFL tight ends. In spring training baseball, the 
Phillies beat the Pirates 4-2 yesterday on a two-run home run by Darren Ruff. The Phillies are currently 5th and 3rd this spring. 5-3 and three this spring. In political news, several primaries and caucuses were held yesterday. On the Republican side, Donald Trump was the winner in Hawaii, Michigan, and Mississippi. Ted Cruz won Idaho. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton won in Mississippi and Bernie Sanders won in an upset victory in Michigan. Now here's John with today's CTN News Around the World. Hi Chargers, in world news, I thought I would tell you about the top five tallest skyscrapers. The world's tallest tower soars over 2,700 feet into the sky. Where is it, and what are the buildings rival it? It's located in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and stands 2,717 feet. Next, Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, China, stands 2,073 feet tall. The third tallest skyscraper is the Makkah Royal Clock Tower in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, which stands at 1,972 feet. Fourth, the fourth one is One World Trade Center in New York City, and it stands at 1,776 feet. The fifth tallest skyscraper is Tapai 101 in Tapai, Taiwan, and it stands 1,667 feet. Although these are the tallest now, on November 29, 2015, Saudi Arabia said it had enough money to complete construction of what will be the world's tallest building. The Jeddah Tower will stand 3,281 feet tall and will open in 2021. Here are images of the two skyscrapers. Back to you, Jordan Arena. Today, in your Wednesday folder, a few papers will be coming home about the Dance Fair Cure, which takes place less than a month from today. We are still in need of volunteers, baked goods, and bottled water for the event. So the first paper allows parents to sign up to help. On the same paper, parents can send in your $5 tag day fee so you can participate in the dance. They can also order a Dance for a Cure t-shirt. If you purchase a dance t-shirt, you will be allowed to wear it. it you will be allowed to wear it all week as your uniform top from April 4th to April 8th, which is the day of the dance. Remember that if you register online for the dance and collect pledges, you may stay in the gym all afternoon and at the dance. If you pay the $5, you can participate for the hour your class dances and for the last hour of the event with the rest of the school. Hey Jordan, did you know that it's also National Meatball Day? No, I do. I was just thinking that if your, your panic gets the best of you on National Panic Day, and maybe you could calm down by having some meatballs to celebrate National Meatball Day. Who comes up with these weird holidays? No idea. Well, that's it for the morning show today. For Jordan, Alyssa, John, and the rest of our crew, this is Rena Robinson wishing you a wonderful one.